Now we'll take the Arduino Uno and the TFT display and carefully place the display on top of the Uno. Then plug it until it is fully inserted with all of the pins. The project is ready. Start New Visuino project. Click on the drop down button of the Arduino Uno component and select from the menu Add Shields. Expand displays, select TFT color touch screen display and add it to the Arduino. Close the dialog. In the properties, expand shields, TFT display and add elements. Add draw ellipse element. Make the element centered and select colors as example violet and lime for the fill color. We will use the ellipse to draw on the screen. For this we will add pins for the X and Y property. We will make the ellipse like a small circle of 10 by 10 pixels. Now we can close the elements editor. The shield has touch property and we will use the X and Y of the property to select X, Y coordinates for our small circle. The touch functionality of the shield provides information about the touch pressure. We will use compare analog value component. We will connect the pressure to the component. We will set the compare type to bigger and value of 0.25. Any value bigger than this will set the output to true. This will be used to control when we draw on the display. In Visuino the execution is in a parallel like fashion so it is not always clear what component will be executed after what component. In rare cases like in this project we want certain events to be executed in specific order. There is a repeat component that will generate events as fast as possible on every loop of the Arduino code. We will use this component to clock the execution of reading the touch and then drawing if necessary at the specified location. We have two events to execute, so for this we will use clock multi-source. We can add more events, but for now we need only two. We will connect the repeat to the clock multi-source. The first task we need to execute is to read the touch. Since we want to draw only if the pressure is above certain threshold, we'll use clock switch component. And we'll connect the second event to the switch and the output of the switch to force the ellipse to be drawn. Now all we need to do is connect the compare analog value output to the enable pin of the clock switch and the project is ready. Click on this button 
to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Select the Arduino board and the port where the board is connected. Click on this button to compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. And now we can test the project. We can use the pen to scribble on the display. And we can erase the scribble by pressing reset.